This is the United Inside News. The Manchester Evening News report that Eric Ten Hag still has the full backing of the Manchester United board. Richard Arnold believes that the club is progressing despite the difficult start to the season. United's 3-0 loss at home to City this weekend has left them 8th in the table and 8 points off Liverpool in 4th. Meanwhile, Manchester United's 3-0 loss to Manchester City yesterday means they have now lost as many Premier League games at home as Sir Alex Ferguson did in his entire Manchester United career. Sir Alex Ferguson took over United in 1986 and led them until 2013. That means in the 10 years since Fergie retired, United have lost as many games as he did in his 26-year tenure. Meanwhile, Manchester United will never play Ajax's style of football. Eric Ten Hag has made the shock admission that he has no intention of ever implementing his Ajax style of possession football at Manchester United. He was asked yesterday what many fans had been wondering, when will you be able to play the same football with Manchester United that you showed with Ajax? In response, Ten Hag said, Never. We will never play that football. Because those were different players. This is also not why I came here. We are playing different football than I showed at Ajax because I have to. Because I can't play the same way. The players decide how you play. Ajax has a very typical and characteristic style of play with Manchester United. I will always show different football. I did so last year as well. We play much more direct football here because I have the players for that here. On the other side, Ahmad Diallo is back on the grass as he steps up his return from injury. The winger impressed on loan at Sunderland last season where he scored 14 and assisted four times in 42 games. He suffered a knee injury against Borussia Dortmund in August, which has kept him out of training until now. Elsewhere, Manchester United fans trolled. Domino's Pizza got in on the act of trolling Manchester United fans after their 3-0 defeat to City. They tweeted, Sorry if your pizza is delayed tonight. Our drivers are struggling to get through all the tears of Manchester United fans. Meanwhile, 10 Hag backs Rashford. Marcus Rashford's poor run of form will come to an end, Eric Ten Hag believes. The Dutchman said, It will come. The moment will come. Every game he will have his chances and it is up to him, but it will come. Again, and again. Roy Keane has launched a blistering attack on Bruno Fernandes after the Manchester United Stars' performance in the Manchester Derby. The Red Devils were utterly dominated throughout the match on Sunday afternoon as Man City romped to an easy 3-0 win. In the post-match discussion on Sky Sports, the performances of several stars were highlighted, including club captain Fernandes. Former Liverpool star Jamie Carragher highlighted Eric Ten Hag's decision to make the 29-year-old captain. He said, Bruno Fernandes should be not be a captain. We're sat with two, former, Manchester United captains, Kina and Nevola. Kina, 52, then offered his own analysis on the matter. The football hard man said, After today and having watched him again, I would definitely take the captaincy off him. 100%. I know it's a big decision. Obviously, he changed the captaincy with Maguire, but Fernandez is not captain material. Keane continued. I think he's a talented player, no doubt about it. But what I saw from him today, his whinging, his moaning, he's throwing his arms up in the air constantly. It really isn't acceptable. And what we saw today, I would take it off him. Because we're talking about making changes. You have to start somewhere, whether it's board level, Managers, I would start with that because the manager is capable of doing that and holding his hands up and saying, listen, I got it wrong. In terms of captain material, he's the opposite to what I would want in a captain. Fernandez was named the Red Devils captain in the summer, while Maguire was demoted ahead of his expected transfer departure. However, Keane was criticized by fans for calling on Rasmus Hoyland to go down for a penalty when he had a good chance to score, but was put off balance by a clever push from John Stones. It came after United had conceded a soft penalty, with Hodgland giving away a foul for having an arm wrapped around Rodri's waist at a free kick. Towards the end of the game, United stars lost their heads, with Anthony being labeled ridiculous by Gary Neville. Online fans were angry at referee Paul Tierney after Grealish escaped with no punishment following a shove on Amrabat. Holland scored twice and added an assist for Phil Foden in front of the Old Trafford crowd. United remain eighth in the Premier League table despite the defeat, while City move to within two points of league leaders Tottenham and level with Arsenal. Again, 
and again. Eric Ten Hag says team followed game plan. Eric Ten Hag has spoken of his disappointment at losing the Manchester Derby, but says his team followed his game plan. When asked by Miguel Delaney of The Independent if this was one of the most disappointing days of his Manchester United career, he said, No, the execution of the game plan was very good. Of course it's disappointing to lose the derby. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag pleaded for patience from the fans after his team slumped to a 3-0 defeat in the Manchester derby yesterday. After a poor start to the season, United are eighth off the table and eight points off Liverpool in fourth. Ten Hag said, I asked the fans to stay behind us and continue to support the team. We're all together. There will be better days. Elsewhere, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is adamant his troops are improving, despite falling to their fifth league defeat of the season Manchester City on Sunday. The former Ajax gaffer said, The three games before we won, and the spirit is very good, so I think we are on the way up. The start was difficult but we are on the way up. I am sure when we have some injured players coming back then, our side will be stronger. We have to be patient. Sir Alex Ferguson has paid tribute to his late wife, Kathy, and Manchester United legend, Sir Bobby Charlton. He wrote, Unfortunately, I have also suffered the painful loss of my beloved wife, Kathy, this month, and I want to thank the club, the fans, and everyone who has sent me their condolences. The black armbands worn by the team against Brentford and the flags at half-mast around Old Trafford were a wonderful tribute. Kathy supported me every step of the way through my career, and she was the backbone of our family. At such a sad time, there is tremendous comfort to be found in being part of the Manchester United community, and we've all felt that spirit this week. We're continuing to mourn for Bobby's loss, but as we look forward to the Derby this afternoon, Let's also celebrate the many wonderful memories he has blessed us with and be inspired by the example he set, again and again. Manchester City has revealed that he used Manchester United's Keanu chance as motivation to score two and assist once in the Manchester derby. Roy Keane's challenge on Holland's father, Alpha Inga, essentially ended his career in 2001. And Holland said after the game, there were so many people singing Keanu. I don't know why, but I used it as motivation and gave them a good celebration, again and again. Manchester United supporters are still awaiting official confirmation of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's investment in the club. Earlier this month, Ratcliffe became the favorite to join the United boardroom after Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani announced he was to withdraw from the process, citing the Glazers' valuation as the reason for this.